My name is David Andre, and in this video, I'll show you how to create any NA10 workflow using Claude Code. If you aren't using these tools, you're actually falling behind because I'll show you how to literally type in plain English and get full working automations as an output. And no, you don't have to be a programmer. So the first step is to open a cursor or any code editor, VS Code, doesn't matter, and open a folder. So here I prepared a folder that's basically empty, except I have two prompt files, which I'll show you in a bit. But the first thing you have to do is open Cloud Code. If you don't have Cloud Code installed, just run this command in any terminal. This will install Cloud Code on your entire machine. Just make sure you have Node.js 18 or plus installed. That's literally all you need. So let's jump back into Cloud Code and let's get it started on the first prompt. So I'm gonna say build prompt number one, complete it fully, and I'm gonna turn it into auto accept mode. Now the first prompt, this is like the beginner way of how to create JSON files that then you can import into NA10. Later though, I'll show you a much better way using MCPs that creates reliable, proven automations that follow the latest documentation and that Cloud Code can test by itself to ensure everything is correct. By the way, if you wanna pause and read through the prompt, feel free to do that right now. So basically what we're building is gonna be like an advanced calendar optimizer agent. Cloud Code has finished writing the JSON file. Boom, so this is the whole JSON file that we can just import into NA10 with one click. So let me show you how to do that. So inside of your NA10, click on create workflow in the top right and then click on the three dots and then import from file. Locate the file that Cloud Code just created and boom, there's the automation. Now you can see there's multiple issues, right? Number one, these two are like not configured at all. So that is a huge fail from Cloud Code. Number two, this is not a tool. This is just a HTTP node inside of NA10. Basically this automation is quite incomplete and it would still require a bunch of your time to go through it, fix it up and correct it. So that's why I'm gonna show you a much better way that uses MCPs to build full NA10 agents. So what we need to do is jump back into cursor and create a new file called .mcp.json. This is gonna be the list of MCPs available to Cloud Code. Now I found this really solid MCP for NA10. It's not official, so use it at your own risk. It is by far the easiest way to build NA10 automations. Luckily, the setup here is super simple. There's literally just two steps. What you need to do is copy this command right here, npx NA10 MCP. Then jump back into cursor or whatever code editor you're using, and then just paste this into a terminal. That's it, npx NA10 MCP, and it will activate this MCP server. So this is the first step already done. Yes, it's that easy. So let's jump back into this GitHub repo. And by the way, I'll link this below the video as well. And the next step is copying this basic configuration. Literally just copy it, no need to change anything, and then paste it into the .mcp.json file we have created a few seconds ago. Save it, Command S or Control S. Next, we have to create a new Cloud Code because if we go into the old one and we type in slash MCP, it doesn't have any MCPs configured. But if we create a new Cloud Code, we will see that it's asking us new MCP server found in .mcp.json the NA10 MCP, right? And we have three options. Use this and all future MCPs, use this MCP server. So I'm gonna just enter to give it approval. And then if we type in slash MCP, we can see this is configured correctly. So now Cloud Code can actually use this MCP to build the full automation for us. So I'm gonna switch Cloud Code to auto accept mode, which you can do by pressing shift tab, this keyboard shortcut. And then I'm gonna say follow prompt number two, build it completely. Boom, enter. And we're gonna have it running. So now Cloud Code is running on the second prompt using the MCP tools and it's gonna build an automation that's 10 times better because this is honestly a mess. Like this is not bad, right? It's better than nothing. But I promise, once you see the output of what Cloud Code can do with that MCP tool, you'll be amazed. Now, while it's running, you might be thinking, okay, but David, where do you host these, right? Because any NA10 automation or agent you build has to be hosted somewhere. And personally, all of my NA10 automations or agents are hosted on hosting. Why? Because you get unlimited amount of workflows. So unlike other providers, they limit the amount of agents you can build. Hostinger doesn't do that. Plus you get unlimited executions. So if your agent needs to be running 24 seven, thousands of times, that's completely fine because with Hostinger, you get a VPS server. So this is what me and my team use to host all of our NA10 agents we built. And it's what you should use as well. So let me show you how to set it up. If you get the KVM2 plan, which I would recommend you to get, you can literally run hundreds of AI agents on this plan and it will cost you way less than if you used the NA10 cloud. Especially if you go with the 24 month option, which I definitely recommend you do because you want your AI agents running forever. You build them once and they save you time in perpetuity. And since Hostinger was kind enough to sponsor this video, if you use the coupon code DAVID, you will save additional 10% off on your annual or two year plan. Then what remains is selecting the server location. So just select whatever is closest to you. I'm in Czech Republic, so German is super close. And then for the operating system, click on NA10. They literally have a one click install template for NA10. It couldn't be any easier. So click on confirm 
and then click on continue and log in with your hosting account or just create one. And the last thing that remains is filling out your billing details and your credit card. I've been using Hostinger for months to host my NNT agents and it really is the simplest and most affordable way to do so. So again, make sure to check out the link in the description and remember to use code David to get 10% off. All right, so once you have your hosting or VPS, go to the panel, click on home and select manage. Here we can see how our virtual private server is running and all the usage you see about it. So this is another advantage over the NA10 cloud. You can actually see this data that NA10 otherwise wouldn't give you. So all we need to click is manage app and this will launch the NA10 server where we can see all of our AI agents. All right, let's jump back into cloud code and let me show you what prompt number two is. Again, feel free to pause the video and copy it for yourself. But basically, it's the description of the same build idea, right? The ultimate calendar manager agent that optimizes your time to work on the highest leverage tasks to fill in the gaps in your calendar. So it describes the trigger, it describes the necessary nodes, but this time it tells it to use the MCP. So this makes it way more reliable, not even close. So as you can see, Cloud Code starts by using the search nodes for these nodes to get the official documentation for all of them. So I need to do yes and don't ask again. By the way, this will cause it to create a new file, settings.json.local, inside of the .cloud folder with a list of the permissions, right? So then these commands, search nodes, they can run automatically. They no longer need my approval every single time that cloud code wants to run this MCP tool. Why? Because it's a safe tool, right? So again, this is a new command, get node essentials. Another safe command, so I'm gonna say yes and don't ask again. And if we check the settings.json local, we can see that right here, it has been updated to include this tool as well. So now if we look at how cloud core is working, instead of just basically zero shorting some JSON that might work or might not work, but as we saw earlier, it's still, you know, pretty unfinished, disconnected tools, not good, not good. This is better than nothing, but we can do a lot better. Instead of doing all that, cloud code uses this MCP server to get the latest documentation on these nodes, right? So first it actually finds the official names of these nodes in the NA10 docs. Then it uses get node essential MCP tool to get the basic input and structure of these nodes to fully understand them just like an expert NA10 engineer would. So then it repeats these steps for every single node in the automation to fully understand the scope of the project. And only then it tries to write and update the workflow, right? So here it found that, okay, we already have the JSON file, but it needs significant improvements to match the requirements. And it's asking if we can run the validated workflow tool, right? So what I did here is I press escape to interrupt cloud code and tell it, ignore that JSON file, create a new one. Because I don't want it to use any of the bad practices from the previous cloud code, which created this file, because this one didn't have the MCP, right? And honestly, it's a night and day difference. Giving the MCP to the cloud code makes it 10 times more reliable. All right, so it seems like the cloud code has finished running with the MCP. Everything seems to be good. Let's look at the JSON file. So this one has 500 lines, while the previous one only has 385 lines. So it's already more lines, but the real test is how it actually looks in NA10. So let me create a new one, new workflow. All right, so there is a brand new empty workflow. And again, go to the top right, click on the three dots, import from file, and then let's find this new one, Telegram Calendar AI Agent. There we go, boom. So you can immediately see a few differences, right? So first of all, we actually have the calendar events as calendars. It's not some empty ghost blocks. If we go to the previous one, we can see that these are not even configured, right? It's a complete disaster. Then the issue is that we have the message model to transcribe the voice, instead of using this dedicated node, OpenAI transcribe voice. Also, in the original one, the Telegram trigger is not even defined. This is just a chat. This is a chat node inside of NA10. This is not the Telegram trigger node. While in the new one, we can see that this is correctly the Telegram trigger. So what remains is just connecting the credentials so that it can work with my own accounts. All right, so I wired up my actual credentials so that we can use it with my own accounts. Basically, if you already use NA10, this will take you like 30 seconds. If you don't, you need to connect whatever nodes we have, right? So in this case, Telegram trigger is the first. Then we have the Google Calendar, right? That's a Google Cloud Console. I already showed that in multiple videos, such as this one or this one. And basically, yeah, maybe your OpenAI API key if you haven't connected that. But it's really straightforward, so let me just walk you through all of it. Starting with the trigger. So here you need to connect your Telegram account. So actually, this is very easy. All you need to do is install the Telegram desktop app, open the bot father and type in slash new bot. It will walk you through the steps of creating a new Telegram bot, which you then connect to NA10. Again, I've showed that in many different videos. Or if you get stuck at any point, just jump back into Cloud Code and say, help me connect the Telegram bot into NA10. Give me step-by-step -step instructions. Since it has the NA10 MCP tool 
it basically knows all of the documentation and it can tell you exactly what to do. All right, so cloud code is generating. This is gonna be very thorough instructions, by the way. Boom, there we go. Over 1000 tokens of instructions. You can also say, give me a TLDR because I didn't put my signature prompt answer in short. But yeah, Cloud Code knows everything basically. And it's a very powerful agent that you should use if you get stuck at any point in this video. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't panic. Just ask Cloud Code. So here's the TLDR. Step one, create bot. Yeah, I showed you that. Add the credentials, import the workflow, set webhook, test. Literally, it's that simple. And again, these AI tools can help you get unstuck. So maybe you struggle with, I don't know, the calendar tool or maybe the Vectal MCP, which again, I showed in this video. All of this, Cloud Code can help you and do for you. Obviously, it doesn't have logins to your accounts, so that's why connecting the credentials is the only step you have to do manually. But as you can see, it can build basically any automation inside of NA10. It knows all of the nodes, it knows all the tools, it knows all the triggers, it knows all the outputs. Oh, and one more thing I wanna show you is the prompt, system prompt for the AI agent, right? So here it is. And this was actually written by Cloud Core as well, so feel free to just take it and steal it. And yeah, so let's test it out. I'm gonna execute workflow and it's waiting for me to create an event in Telegram. So let's jump back in. And I have this guy right here. I'm gonna say, find a task I can do in the next 30 minutes. So you can send this from your phone. You can send this as a voice note. Boom, there it is. So it instantly uh, found the message, it went into this um, true false check if it's a voice message, right? If else, basically. So if it's not a voice message, so it went the down route. If it was a voice message, it would download the file, transcribe it with OpenAI and then set it manually with the set node. Now it's going into the AI agent. The agent is using all these tools and boom, there it is, super fast. So let me walk you through the tools real quick. The calendar one's super simple, right? Create the event at Google Calendar or get many events to see where the gaps are in your calendar and then create the event where the gap is. The Vectal one, this is the interesting part, right? So hopefully you guys are using Vectal, which is my tool for managing your tasks. And this is the most advanced AI tool. It tells you what to actually work on, right? A lot of you guys are actually working on the wrong tasks. You might have a goal, but you're working on low leverage things. Vectal, since we use the cutting edge AI models, it tells you the highest leverage tasks possible that you should be doing to achieve your goals. So this is why Vectal is the best task manager on earth, bar none. And that's why it pays off to sit down for 10 to 15 minutes, move all of your tasks from Notion to Doist ClickUp into Vectal and just forget about these outdated task management tools because this is what the future of productivity looks like. Anyways, let's jump back into NA10. So it used the Vectal tool to get a list of all of your tasks and then figure out what can I do in the next 30 minutes, as I said in the message inside of Telegram. Okay, so I have my calendar on the second screen. There is some stuff I cannot show you, but I'm gonna take a screenshot, boom. So the red line represents the current time, right? Basically now. And we have all of these different tasks inside of Vectal. And I did a bunch of testing, so ignore these, but let's focus on the one that is in the next 30 minutes, right? This is the new one it created, matching the prompt I sent into Telegram. Some tasks I can do in the next 30 minutes. So we have a bunch of bigger tasks here, but the NA10 agent figured out that out of everything else we have inside of Vectal, this task, which is a 15 minute task, can easily fit into this 30 minute window that I described. And so that's exactly what it did. It selected this task and it added it into my Google Calendar by itself. And I feel like I need to stress this again. This was built by Cloud Code. Like I wasn't adding any of these nodes. It wasn't like creating from scratch, building manually, slowly, and any other automation, right? Like we used to do six months ago. No, Cloud Code now exists, guys. And this is by far the easiest way to build NA10 agents and NA10 automations. So forget about what anyone else is telling you. Just use the NA10 MCP with Cloud Code and start automating all of the boring and repetitive tasks that you have to do. And if you wanna make sure your AI agents are running 24 seven without interruptions, make sure to get the VPS from Hostinger. This is one of the most affordable ways to host your NA10 automations. It's super simple to set up, you literally saw it earlier, and it's what I use and my entire team uses for everything we built on NA10. So again, it's gonna be the first link below the video. Thank you, Hostinger, for sponsoring this video, and I hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe, and with that being said, I wish you a wonderful, productive week. See ya.